they promise to keep your internet connection safe and anonymous but i didn't really want it i decided to put five free vpns to the test for a whole month and i did have some wild adventures doing that and you would expect that these vpns would perform to their greatest abilities but most of them did and some failed woefully but one vpn one particular vpn stood out it absolutely blew my mind with what it could do with the free version in this video i'm going to show you five best free vpns that i tried and the results that i got but there is something you need to do first if you haven't subscribed to this channel hit the subscribe button like this video i create videos about business make money online and ai so i try out things in the online space and if they work i share them with you so don't forget to drop a comment in the comment section if you have any questions Now, the first VPN, which is Proton VPN, is a great choice, or at least I thought. The VPN is a powerhouse when it comes to security and privacy, which is a major win for users. It has an advanced server architecture and a strict no logs policy, which means your privacy is guaranteed. So, I tried to unblock some streaming services like Netflix and it worked. I think I watched a few movies as well. Yeah, but I noticed some limitations. For free users, you can only connect to servers in three countries, the United States, Netherlands, and Japan. I also noticed that the speed on free servers are not as fast as the paid servers due to the number of people using them. I understand that a lot of people want like things for free and all that. So I tried connecting with my phone and the same time connecting with my pc but it failed because it can only be used on one device at a time annoying right anyway despite these limitations the free version of Proton vpn doesn't have limited bandwidth it doesn't have logs it doesn't have ads and no artificial speed limit and all that additionally the free version provides the same encryption protocols as the paid version so it's worth looking into on the eighth day i decided to try windscribe i heard so many good things about it so i felt okay it was time to give it a try for free i got started and i didn't have to you know put any payment details before signing up that was a good sign. One thing that is worth noting is that Winscribe has a data limit of two gig per month, but I did something to increase it. After signing up, I verified the account. So after verifying or signing up and verifying your account, they increase your bandwidth to about 10 gig per month. So with the free version, I was able to switch my locations to 11 different countries, which is generous compared to Proton VPN. That means Winscribe should be called neutron vpn <laughs> that gives it a good match so i tried netflix and it worked in the us and it also worked in the uk now this sounds great but i couldn't block ads i couldn't block certain malwares with the free version and all that so overall windscribe is generous i would say and it's a good option for those people that don't want to pay for a vpn i wasn't satisfied so on the 15th day i decided to try opera's browser vpn now, Opera is a free browser and it has a VPN which is free to use. I decided to try Netflix, it failed. I wasn't sure why, so I had to like check my IP address to confirm that it was actually working. I went to whatismyipaddress.com, it didn't show me my exact location. It is worth noting that Opera VPN is not a full VPN, but rather it's a secure proxy service that only protects traffic from within the Opera browser. So if you want to secure all your device's web traffic, not just your browser's web traffic, you need to upgrade to the Opera VPN Pro. So in terms of speed, I noticed that the speed drops drastically compared to other VPNs when the VPN is activated. Yeah. I know this is a common issue with many VPNs, but it's something that you need to keep in mind if speed is your priority. On the 21st day, I wanted to stop this test because it just didn't make any sense, but I decided to continue. I tried the big browser's VPN. The first thing I noticed is the speed. It was slow. I could understand that it's a browser VPN and it's also free, so I didn't expect much. I could use it to solve servers here and there. It has servers in US, Germany, France, Canada, and India. It also automatically clears browser history after every session to maintain privacy. It blocks ads and tracking methods for further privacy protection. I didn't bother to do anything outside the browser because it can't protect other apps or protocols. It only protects the browser traffic and some browser requests might be routed insecurely outside the encrypted tunnel. I also noticed that it wasn't 
anonymous to Google. If you visit your Google account while using the Epic privacy browser, you will no longer be anonymous to Google. Epic strongly recommends that you do not access your Gmail account using their browser, but it performs well for a free browser. Epic is quite decent. It's quite a decent option. I mean, it's a browser VPN and I'm talking about the free version here. So it's a good pick. However, some people may prefer Tor browser VPN. Now, this brings me to the last VPN test that I did with Tor. One of the first things I tried was streaming. It doesn't work great with streaming and it is slow compared to other VPNs. On the bright side, it is a free browser that takes up less storage and has a fast and secure VPN connection. You can use it to protect your privacy while browsing the internet. Now, the free version of Tor VPN allows users to access the Tor network and file sharing. The number of server location is in about eight countries. It is quite fast compared to other VPNs. Now, the free service has two gig data allowance, which can be used up quickly. You can only connect one device at a time. If you try to connect more devices than allowed, you may not be able to establish a connection or you may just be disconnected from the device. To connect more devices, you may need to upgrade to a paid version of the service that allows multiple device connections. Tor VPN is a great VPN to try out and some of the VPNs I mentioned are quite good for the free version. So you can go try it out for yourself. I'm going to leave some important links in the description go check it out and if you want to join my mentorship program where I work with you to make your first $1,300 online I'm gonna leave the link in the description of this video if you have not subscribed to this channel hit the subscribe button like this video and if you have questions tips or anything you want to share just drop it in the comment section and then I'll see you here in this video